This is a Bosch radar module and it's uh, labeled at, at the back. This is its base and uh, on top of the module there is a daughter board which uses the uh, MPC5675K and uh, in this video I'm going to use the Unicant to program it. Here are the JTAG pins here. Uh, I sorted the pin headers on it and uh, these are the the connection. The JTAG pins are in here. There is one pin VCC is not connected and this is the ground. This is JCOM. Uh, the TMS here. The the reset and then this is TDI, TDO and clock. So this is how it's connected and it is a daughter board. We can connect the Unink NT to it and then power on. So in the software here, we can click detect and we will see the BD, uh, debug on and here are all the information we want. Uh, this helps to diagnose if the JTAG connection is connect properly or not. And the first thing to do is we need to back this up. And in order to back up, we can do a read. So let's do a read. And you can see the read is really, really fast. And let's finish the read. And the flash size is two megabyte. And there's data, uh, this code flash, the data flash is 64 kilobyte. So we can save the code flash. Then we can select the data flash and do a read as well. And we can save it. So these are the data here. Uh, if you look at the reads, uh, it's only three seconds. Three seconds for the code flash. We can do one more time to a verification. And about three seconds, it's finished. Unink NT can read this flash really, really fast. I don't think you can find any JTAG device can uh, achieve this speed. So now we can do a complete erase. Let's say I want to erase the D flash. So let's erase the data flash. And data flash erase. I can do a verification this way. Or I can blank check this as well. So now let's erase the C flat color flash and erase it. We can use this button to verify the blank so we can check if this is blank or not. And it is. Uh, the content is not all we can use the verify, which we which I initialize everything here. And it will say, you know, competitor OK, which is also empty. So now let's uh, load the code flash, which is today's date. Uh, code flash, this is today's date. Uh, we load this one was December 10th. And the data flash is December 10th as well. So here, let's first program or oh, verify the Data flash, of course, a fail. Now let's program the data flash. And we can verify. This really takes like one second to program it. Uh, the code flash takes a bit of while, even erase will take 14 seconds. Now let's select the, the code flash, which will fail you know, if we compare it now because it's empty, right? And now let's program it. So we hit write. The write will do the erase first. And that will take about 14 seconds to erase. This is how fast this can program. And the read speed was about 600 kilobyte. The writing is about 140, whatever. And average is 196. Let's do a verification. So this one um, is being programmed properly. By the way, in 
uh, 5.1 version now, it has the, uh, if the device is censored, there's an option here. If you check this box and put the password in there, then the MPC device will be uh, uh, send the password to unlock the device. Uh, more and more MPC chips will be supported in the future. And it's 1.51, 1 it just add the option to allow you to enter the password in here.